the sun beats down on the dry Indonesian island, a water buffalo lumbers toward a muddy stream, but the shadows shift. A thick, scaly beast rises from the dirt. One bite is all it takes. The buffalo thrashes, escapes, but the damage is done. Days later, it collapses. The killer arrives, slow and patient. This is no chase. It's a countdown. The Komodo dragon doesn't need to outrun you. It just needs to touch you. Let's find out why it's one of the most ruthless predators on the planet. Hunting strategies. Komodo dragons are masters of ambush. They don't rely on speed or stealth like big cats. Instead, they wait. Motionless for hours, they position themselves near trails or water sources where prey is most likely to pass. When the moment comes, they lunge with explosive force, delivering a single crippling bite. What makes their hunting unique is their venom. A Komodo's bite introduces toxins that prevent blood from clotting and cause rapid drops in blood pressure. Their serrated teeth tear flesh, while the venom begins its silent assault. Prey often escapes the initial attack, but the dragon doesn't pursue, it follows. For hours, even days, it trails the weakened animal until it collapses. Komodos also scavenge. They can smell a carcass from nearly 2.5 miles away, using their forked tongues and Jacobson's organ to track chemical signals in the air. This dual role, hunter and scavenger, makes them adaptable and relentless, thriving where other predators fail. Physical strengths. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards on Earth, growing up to 10 feet long and weighing as much as 366 pounds. Their muscular limbs, low-slung bodies, and powerful tails give them a prehistoric appearance and unmatched strength in their environment. They can sprint at speeds of 12 miles per hour in short bursts, fast enough to tackle deer or pigs. Their claws, used for digging and climbing as juveniles, become weapons in adulthood ripping through flesh, gripping terrain and stabilizing them during feeding. Their jaws are packed with over 60 razor-edged teeth, each one curved and serrated like a shark's. Combine that with a bite force of 600 PSI and you have a predator capable of ripping through muscle and bone with ease. Every inch of their anatomy is built for dominance. Social structure. Komodo dragons are generally solitary, meeting only to breed or feed. But when a large carcass is found, a social hierarchy quickly forms. Dominant individuals eat first, while smaller dragons wait, or risk being attacked by their larger relatives. Cannibalism is common, especially among hatchlings, who spend their early lives avoiding older dragons as much as external predators. Juveniles often live in trees to stay safe. Adults too heavy to climb remain grounded, ruling the terrain below. This vertical division keeps the species from cannibalizing itself into extinction, creating a grim but effective survival system. Dragons communicate with body language, head bobs, tail flicks, and posturing. During fights, they wrestle like crocodiles, using tails for balance and jaws as battering rams. These confrontations are brutal, often ending with deep wounds or broken limbs. In a Komodo's world, power isn't suggested. It's proven. Habitat and range. Komodo dragons are found on just a handful of Indonesian islands, most notably Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Gili Motang. These islands are dry, rugged, and sun-baked, with open savannas, dry forests, and rocky hills. The dragons thrive in areas with limited human disturbance and dense prey populations. They make use of burrows for shelter and temperature regulation often digging their own or repurposing others. These dens offer shade during the hottest parts of the day and protection during storms. The terrain might seem harsh to others, but for Komodos, it's paradise. Despite their limited range, these reptiles dominate their ecosystems. No other land predator on the islands comes close in size or power. They are the uncontested kings of their environment, shaping the behavior and population of every animal around them. We've seen the venomous scavenger in action, but did you know that they're also capable of parthenogenesis, reproducing without fertilization? 
In the absence of a male, females can lay viable eggs, producing genetically identical offspring. This rare ability makes Komodos incredibly resilient in isolated environments. Diet and feeding habits. Komodo dragons are carnivores to the extreme. Their diet includes deer, wild boar, goats, water buffalo, smaller dragons, and carrion. Anything that moves or has stopped moving is on the menu. They can consume up to 80% of their body weight in a single feeding, gorging until their bellies drag on the ground. Their feeding process is savage and efficient. They tear off massive chunks of flesh, swallowing them whole. To aid digestion, they shake their heads violently, using momentum to rip meat from bone. Their stomach acids are strong enough to dissolve hair, bones, and hooves. When they scavenge, they often rip open carcasses that even vultures avoid. Their tolerance for rotting flesh and bacteria is unmatched. Scientists once believed their bite killed through infection, but we now know venom does the work. Still, their immune systems are so strong, they can eat what would kill other predators outright. Reproduction and life cycle. Mating season begins around May, when males engage in intense combat for access to females. These fights involve standing on hind legs and wrestling, slamming their bodies together until one submits. The winner mates with the female, who may still choose to reject him with force. Females lay 15 to 30 eggs, usually in abandoned megapode nests, large mound-like structures that provide heat insulation. Incubation lasts seven to eight months, with hatchlings emerging around March. These tiny dragons are just 16 inches long, but already capable of hunting insects and small lizards. For the first few years, they live arboreally, climbing trees to avoid predators, including adult Komodos. As they grow, they descend to the forest floor where their diet expands and they begin their rise in the food chain. Full maturity comes at eight to nine years and they can live up to 30 years in the wild if they survive that long. Evolutionary history. Komodo dragons belong to the Varanidae family alongside monitor lizards. Their ancestors date back over 100 million years, but the modern Komodo likely evolved around 4 million years ago. Once thought to be relics of a giant lizard past, they're now seen as products of island gigantism, growing larger in isolated ecosystems with little competition. Fossils suggest their range once extended to mainland Australia, but rising sea levels and habitat changes confined them to the Indonesian islands. On these islands, their size gave them a distinct advantage, allowing them to dominate without rival. Their anatomy remained largely unchanged over millennia. They are evolutionary holdouts, creatures so well suited to their niche that natural selection barely touched them. Their endurance, physiology, and venom make them one of evolution's most perfected killers. Role in the ecosystem. Komodo dragons sit at the top of their food chain regulating prey populations through both hunting and scavenging. Their predation on deer, boar, and water buffalo prevents overgrazing and helps maintain the delicate balance of island vegetation. As scavengers, they speed up decomposition and nutrient recycling. By consuming every part of a carcass, they return organic matter to the soil faster than most other species. This accelerates growth for plants and supports the entire food web. Their presence also alters animal behavior. Prey species avoid water holes or trails known to be stalked by dragons, which spreads their movement across the landscape. This reduces ecological pressure in key areas, allowing habitats to recover and biodiversity to flourish. Threats and conservation status. Komodo dragons are classified as endangered by the IUCN. Their biggest threats are habitat destruction, natural disasters, poaching, and the effects of climate change. Rising sea levels could shrink their already limited range, while droughts threaten their prey base. Human encroachment poses another danger. As villages expand and tourism increases, dragon territories shrink. Though attacks on humans are rare, conflicts have led to retaliation killings. Preserving their habitat is crucial, not just for their survival, but for the entire ecosystem they sustain. 
Indonesia has implemented protections through Komodo National Park, restricting hunting and monitoring dragon populations. Still, conservationists warn that without stricter enforcement and habitat restoration, these ancient predators could slip into decline. They've lasted millions of years, but now time may not be on their side. Myths and cultural significance. Local legends describe Komodo dragons as protectors, warriors, and even ancestors. In some villages, it's believed that the dragons are spiritual siblings to humans, a belief that has led to tolerance and even reverence for the lizards, especially on the island of Komodo itself. Stories of dragons date back centuries. Sailors once returned with tales of fire-breathing beasts stalking the Indonesian islands. These legends may be exaggerated, but the dragon's presence is undeniable. Its appearance, reptilian, cold-eyed and armored, makes it a perfect candidate for myth. Modern media has embraced the Komodo dragon as a symbol of survival, brutality and mystery. Documentaries, video games and nature series often feature it as a final boss of the reptile world. But behind the image lies a real animal, strategic, powerful and irreplaceable. Unique and interesting facts. Komodo dragons can smell blood from nearly six miles away thanks to their highly evolved chemosensory system. Their forked tongues collect scent particles, which are analyzed by an organ in the roof of their mouth. This tasting the air lets them track wounded animals with terrifying precision. You've heard they have venom, but here's what most don't know. Their venom doesn't just weaken prey, it makes them bleed out internally, even after escaping. There are reports of water buffalo dying weeks later from one bite, and Komodos finding the carcass miles away. The dragon doesn't need to win a fight, it just needs a taste, and perhaps most surprising. They can swim between islands. Using strong limbs and tails, Komodos paddle across open sea to colonize new territory. These aren't just land-bound monsters, they're seafaring predators expanding their reign one island at a time. The Komodo dragon isn't chasing you, it's waiting for you to fall. With venom, patience and power, it rules the land like a cold-blooded king. But next, we trade scales for speed. The cheetah is coming, the fastest killer on land and when it moves, nothing escapes.